Hello everyone, it is the Lone Wolf Gaming. Thank you for coming and checking out part two of this Nuzlocke randomizer. In the last episode, we got our first Pokemon, which is... a Pupitar. Named Jade, and it has a held item, which is Energy Root. Great. So, and it's got Shed Skin, and it's got a Lonely Nature. Which doesn't really do anything for us right now, it won't really mean anything right now. And we just got our Pokédex and Pokéballs, so this Nuzlocke has officially began. And we are fixing to go to the first route and see what we can come across. Please don't be a Pichu, because that showed up twice last time. So here we go. What shall we get? Altaria. Well, 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 well. Altaria. Having a dragon type this early in the game would be pretty handy. It's not the worst thing. You kind of want something a little bit more meme-y, but man, I had such bad luck on my first Nuzlocke randomizer. That had a that had a classic moment in it. Um. I'll talk about it in a second. Ooh! <laughs> Speaking of crits. Catch rate's not going to be good on this, but... Fingers crossed. Audio's still screwing up. I apologize for that. Ugh! So close! It's okay, I got shed skin. He'll take care of that problem. <sighs> four left, four left, four left. <laughs> no, don't do this to me. I only get one. I get only get one chance at this. I only get one chance at this. No. Altaria, please join the team. <sighs> Sorry about the audio. I don't know why it's doing that. I've tried to fix this multiple times. All right. Altaria's data was added to the Pokedex. Altaria, it's the forest Pokemon. Or it's a forest Pokemon. Uh, whatever. It's the humming Pokemon, actually. Three foot, seven inches, and 45.4 pounds. If you hear a beautiful medley trilling deep among mountains from, from far from people, it is Altaria's humming. Alright, it is a male. And we'll give it a name. Uh, none of you guys are going to understand this name because it is a name that I came up with for a fictional story that I had been writing years ago. But I typically, typically give it to the dragon that's in my team. Zoltre. All right, so we got an Altaria. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I've definitely had worse luck on these games. So, the story. It was part three of my Nuzlocke randomizer on my other YouTube channel. What's this going to be? Cascoon. It could have been a lot worse. <laughs> so... It was the route just past uh, Viridian City, right before you get into Viridian Forest. And so far, my luck hadn't been so great. I, I My starter was uh, Sharpedo, and I had caught Poochiana and... Uh, what is... God, the, the Chameleon Pokemon... Why can't I think of his name right now? Any, anyway, anyway. So my luck wasn't doing so well. And a Mewtwo pops up. Yay. I've got two dark types on my team, and the only attacking move it has is confusion. It cannot touch me. It literally cannot touch me one bit. Because the other move it had, I think, was like Leer or something like that. And this was great. So I throw in Poochiana, got a couple attacks off. It's sitting at like six, 60, 55% health left. And 
I got my Pokeballs. I haven't used it yet. And I'm like, okay. And I say on 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 the video, I say, Poochiana, if you crit this thing right now and faint it, I swear I will release you on the spot. No video manipulation. It crits it. Knocks it out. And you see me on... Well, you don't see me on camera, because I, I didn't have... I didn't have... Um, I didn't have, like, the, the camera on me. But if you'd seen it, you would have seen me dead-faced. Like, I... I legit was not happy. And you see me walk back to the Pokemon Center, go right up to the box, and I don't stick it in the box. I flat out release it. And I get done with that, I'm like, well, that happened. <laughs> it was good, good quality Pokemon content for YouTube. But, yeah. Anyway, so I'm already starting off a lot better here. And then I get to Viridian Forest and my encounter was Poliwag. Even though the next Pokemon that showed up was a Charizard. And I had some pretty bad luck in that game. It, it got better later in the game before I quit recording the series. It, it, had, it had gotten to like... Um, I had Crobat. I had... I got a... Ivysaur and evolved it into Venusaur. Uh, I think I had Electrode. It, it was a. It, it turned out to be an okay team, but I lost uh, Kecleon. That's the freaking name of it. I, I, I gave up my Kecleon. I sacrificed it in a battle with a Pokemon I was trying to. I was battling. Um, so one of my other two guys to make it through. And wouldn't you know it, like during the during the playthrough, I just I keep getting Brelooms. I keep getting Brelooms. Like that were battling me. And I lo nearly lost so many Pokemon. Like the battles were horrendous. So I'm just doing some level grinding right now. Um so I'm gonna be doing some switch out battling with Altaria later on. I'm I'm not gonna do actually much level grinding because the thing is with Nuzl Nuzlocke randomizers, you, you get a lot of decent Pokemon that you battle, including legendaries, so the experience points are much higher than you would get normally. You can you can get over leveled pretty fast if you manage to hold on to your Pokemon. So I uh, I just want to be able to have Pupitar strong enough to be able to handle battles whenever I need to switch out with Altari and such. I'll get it to level eight and then we'll we'll proceed with the other routes. So there we go, and that should be level eight. Um, later on in the game, whenever I have to do some level grinding, like for new Pokemon, getting them caught up in levels, I'll probably just either do a time skip or just fast forward. And I'll, of course, slow it down if anything interesting comes up. So, okay, let's go to the PC and heal, and then we'll go to the Mart and purchase some items. She'll heal my Pokemon. I th thought about doing the Nuzlocke rule where it's like you only can do like Pokemon centers like once um, and the rest is items, but I, c I ended up deciding on basically sticking to kind of a classic Nuzlocke rule with, with the exception of if my starter faints, game over, done. That can make this a short-lived randomizer, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, so I got 10. Let's see. I got two potions, right? Um. All right. I don't know why the audio is doing that, where it's like... <laughs> occasionally. Um, my computer's not being overtaxed by any means, so it's not that. I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, I have had issues with the Visual Boy Advance, but I re-downloaded a new one, and it's been working fine, so I, I don't know what the deal is. Alright, let's head up here, get the old man out of the way. Well now, I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. Hmm, what is that red box you have? Oh, so you're working on your Pokedex. Well then, let me give you a word of advice. Whenever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch a Pokemon. I suppose I better show you then. 
This is supposed to be randomized. Let's see what he gets. He gets a bell sprout. I love to have a bell sprout. Victory Bell's like one of my favorite grass types. It's not even that it's like great. I mean, it's decent. I like it, like its attacks, but um, I just like the design. For, for some reason, Victory Bell's like a design I really like. And then Joshua Dunlop, he did an amazing uh, art piece of it. He got his bell sprout. Thank you, old man. Even though I've already caught a Pokemon. There, now tell me. That was educational, was it not? Here, take this too. It's the Tichi TV. If there's something you don't understand, watch that. It will teach you about all. It'll teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Okay, whatever. Got that out of the way. Let me head up here and see what this item is. The items are supposed to be randomized. Could be anything. A Quaylot Qu Berry. Yay. <laughs> I was hoping for like a max revive that I could sell off, but whatever. I don't need that Pokemon luck. Whoops. My bad. Alright. Let's continue up here. Let's see what's on Route 2. This is a new encounter. This is where that infamous Mewtwo thing I was telling you about happened. <laughs> Oops, I ain't complaining. Oh man, I, oh boy. This is gonna be tough to catch this. This is gonna be tough to catch this. This Nuzlocke might be over right here. <laughs> if he's got a water attack. Um, but if he does, it shouldn't... Dang it, I keep hitting the wrong button. It shouldn't kill it. What's he got? What's he got? If he has a fighting move, too, that's going to kill me. That's that's ideal. That That is ideal. I I, I like that. You you continue with that that line. I, I I will work with that. I'll work with that. No hypnosis for you. <laughs> now here is where the the crit co comes in. That that's where this happens. But I don't think it's weak enough that I could catch it right now. So here we go. Give me the crit. Give me the crit. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 This isn't pre-recorded. That was live. <laughs> that was live. Alright, no no Polyrath and no Route 2 Pokemon for me. But um God. The only the only consolation to that is that it was probably a low percent chance that I would get it. But it's not like it would be catching a legendary or something. <laughs> well, Lord, this is the water route. All right, gonna get a little bit of battling in here. Um, you gotta do some level grinding here to get up to speed before I challenge Gary. So time skip. All right, so that was a quick time skip because I might be losing a Pokemon here if I continue this battle. That was another thing I thought about putting in this Nuzlocke randomizer. No running away. But <sighs> is it really fair if a Nuzlocke gets ended because you are level grinding? That's just That's just not right. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Jeez, that was nerve wracking. All right, back to the t 
back to the speed up. All right, so we're back from all that level grinding. I had a couple of really, really close calls to not only losing Altaria, but losing... Uh, sorry, not Altaria. Um, Zoltre. Gotta call my other nickname. I came really close to almost losing Zoltre and a couple of times almost losing Jade and this Nuzlocke being over just because of level grinding. So we're at Route 22. This is another encounter that we can get. And I'm going to figure out what what it is before we face Gary. Oh! Sorry to sound like a little girl, but Arcanine's like my favorite Pokemon. Outside of maybe Charizard. Oh, God, I have to be careful. Oh, God, I have to be careful. Because I really, really, really want Arcanine. I would give up Zoltre, like, sacrifice it if it meant having this. I've had some good luck this this playthrough already. Man. Let's try Sing. Let's try putting it to sleep. Yes. Um... I'm scared to attack it. I am so scared to attack it. Like, Astonish shouldn't kill it, but there's crits are a thing. I already saw it crit Polyrath. Actually, that was Jade, wasn't it? Okay, fingers crossed. Okay. Okay. Half health and... It's all it's got is Ember, so it shouldn't do a lot. I'll, I'll use a potion to keep Altari in so I can keep singing to put it to sleep. So I I can't attack it again. Like Astonish, even without a crit, may kill it. And Pupitar has a higher attack and better attacks. So fingers crossed. Here we go, boys. Can we get Arcanine? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about, baby. We're, we're rolling now. Arcanine, the legendary Pokemon. It is six feet and three inches. That, I'm wondering, is if it's on its hind legs or if it's standing upright. But anyway... 341 pounds. A Pokemon that, it de that is described in Chinese legends, it is said to race at an unbelievable speed. Quick, clicking that button. <laughs> Give a nickname to the captured Arcanine. Yes. Now, it's a fire type. It's a male. It's a dog. If it was a Houndoom, even though this isn't accurate, I'd call it Cerberus. Um... But since it is a fire type and a male and a dog. Hmm. Hmm. I just keep thinking of Dante's Inferno. And Dante is what I named it in Pokemon Go when I finally got my first Arcanine. So let's be basic white boy and call it Dante. And there we go. Dante's on the team. We got an Arcanine, but we got a good team. We got a good team. Like Tyranitar and Arcanine, I'd have those like on a regular team just, just play. So anyway, this video is getting long. I want to keep these between 15 and 20 minutes. So we're going to cut this thing here. Uh, when I come back, we will face Gary and then we'll proceed to Viridian Forest and maybe get in our first badge. Um, I might level grind in between recordings. Maybe not, because I would like to keep that on screen if anything interesting happens. Um, if anything does happen, like a Pokemon fainting, I will... I'll make sure to show you. So, until next time, Lone Wolf out. Thanks for watching.